Well, we had some beautiful weather. If you were maybe doing some last minute Valentine's shopping today, or maybe took your sweetheart out to dinner, it was a good weather to do it. It was just a little bit chilly outside. And as we go through the rest of the week, well, things are not going to be as pretty, at least not toward the middle to late week time frame. Looks mostly dry for Tuesday. Isolated showers Wednesday. Best rain chance, though, comes Thursday. A lot of that may come, though, after sunset. I'll show you the latest long range model in just a second. And then Friday will be mostly dry, but may start with a few showers. But most of the day uh, looks to be relatively clear. So we'll talk about that timing um, coming up in just a second. Uh, but it, right now it's a fairly pleasant night. It's chilly out there though at 43 in Greenville, 33 in Asheville, right now at 39 in Abbeville and Lawrence. So yeah, already creeping down into those 30s and 45 for Clemson and wind is starting to settle down. It was certainly an issue earlier, just kind of blowing things around. It wasn't uh, incredibly strong, but you know, if you tough to put a lot of effort into the hairdo when it's breezy outside for the for the nighttime plan six in Greenville seven in Clemson. So yeah, not too bad now. Fox radar 3D is all clear and it should stay that way for tomorrow morning's commute. You'll just be feeling the chill warming up that car probably in the morning bundling up the kids mid 20s 26 in Nashville and 25 in Hendersonville sitting at 30 for Lawrence 30 over to Coa and 29 in Spartanburg. Now through the day tomorrow it'll be seasonably cool with highs in the 50s and similar conditions for Wednesday. But Wednesday we will notice some extra clouds area wide and a chance for a couple spotty showers. And then Thursday that brings us our best chance of rain mainly toward late in the day into your evening. So let's first start on future cast the short term. This is our high resolution model just showing how nice it's going to be on Tuesday. Barely a passing cloud in the sky. But Wednesday clouds will thicken up and what's happening here is we're going to get a southerly flow building moisture into the area. With that could come a few little showers. You can see that here off and on, not going to be everywhere, certainly nothing to write home about, but just not going to be the nicest of days to be outside. Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when things will become a little bit more active. Uh, you can see the showers will continue to build as we go into Thursday morning. But here comes the main event, and that's going to be late on Thursday evening around 11 p.m. Some of this heavy rain will be moving in. The good news is we're not talking about a lot of energy for thunderstorms, so we may hear a rumble of thunder, but severe threat looks pretty low with this. And there's not a whole lot of cold air involved, so we're not going to have winter weather issues from this system as it looks right now. It will sweep through, could get a few snowflakes right up along the spine of the Appalachians there along the Tennessee border. And then as we go toward 5 o'clock on Friday, most of the showers will be out and we'll just be left with a few clouds. As for rain totals, this should be a pretty healthy rain for the area with over an inch expected in some spots, uh, but it won't be anything that should cause any flooding or any serious issues, just a good soaking for our area. So let's get a look at your next seven days. As we expect, there's a pretty good chance of rain for Thursday at 90% in the mountains, and then it goes down to 30% by Friday morning. And then by the afternoon should be totally clear. A nice weekend in store, mostly sunny with 50s in the mountains and even milder for the upstate. Take a look at this. We'll be at near 60 degrees Saturday and Sunday with that sunshine. Now it will get a lot milder when that rain pushes through. I mentioned that southerly flow, that warm, moist air is going to be making its way in, and you'll notice it on Thursday with highs in the upper 60s. But then a front passes through, and that's going to help to drop temperatures a bit, but not too much. We'll still be pretty comfortable over your weekend. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news from 430 to 10 a.m. Meteorologist Bob Trahe will get you all set up with your forecast.